everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. Today, I want to circle back and talk about a video I made back in January talking about mining Ergo with a 3060 LHR. So, at the time I made the video, uh, you can see I was using NB Miner version 40.1, uh, and we were getting 103.9 mega hash at 100 watts, and we had to do that by setting the core and the memory clock to zero and the power limit to 100 in order to prevent the LHR lock from tripping. So at the time I was pretty happy with this, but uh, if you've noticed recently, the ergo price has increased quite a bit. So we're looking here at the seven day. So just seven days ago, ergo was at about $3.21. And today we reached a high of uh, $4.88. Today is the 24th of March 2022 and so I wanted to revisit this and do a little research and see if I could do a little bit better on the hash rate and sure enough I discovered a way to do that so you can see now I've reverted back to NB Miner version 39.5 which is the first release of NB Miner where they uh, unlocked the Ergo LHR so let's take a quick look and see what we're doing here. We're doing 116.8 mega hash at 94 watts. And the overclocks we're using are the same that we use for Ethereum. So a plus 1500 on the core and 2600 on the memory. And we're getting some very good stable performance. We've been up for about 30 minutes and it takes a few minutes, two or three minutes for this to settle in. But once it does, it's rock solid. So. I went back and looked at the release notes on GitHub and saw that the first release for the new LHR mode for mining Ergo was this 39.5 and you enable it by manually adding a dash LHR option and if we look down here it says for non Hynix GDDR6 memory so the 3060 start with the LHR-85 or a GDDR6X memory, so your 3070 Ti's, 3080, 3080 Ti, start with an LHR of 100. So let's take a look at the flight sheet and see what I did. Um, I went ahead and started right away. So again, Ergo using the Yoroi wallet on Nanopool, NB Miner. I selected version 39.5. And I started with an LHR of 100 to see, just see what would happen. And uh, as I showed you here, uh, what ends up happening is we get this 116.8 mega hash at 94 watts. So this is great. So we're seeing about a 10 plus percent increase in the hash rate and about 6% um, lower, you know, six watts lower on the power draw. So let's take this over to what to mine and see what this means. I uh, put in the 36 mega hash that we can get on the 3060 LHR mining Ethereum at 110 watts. And I just put in 117 mega hash at 94 watts for Ergo. And keep in mind, the Ethereum price is at $3,106 today. And the profitability numbers were quite shocking. So for Ergo, we are looking at a revenue of $1.98 per day, a uh, profit of $1.75 per day after $0.10 cents per kilowatt hour electricity. And on Ethereum, we're only at $1.56 in revenue and $1.29 per day profit. So we're a significantly higher profitability on Ergo right now than what we are on Ethereum. Now, this may change if we see the price of Ergo start to drop, or if we see the difficulty or the uh, the overall uh, network hash rate increase, then we would expect to see some of these numbers decline. Or similarly, if we see the price of Ethereum rise or the network difficulty decline, then we would see this number climb. But I thought this was a very interesting comparison and wanted to get this out there to everyone. So if you are mining Ergo on a 3060 LHR, Try NB Miner version 39.5 and add in that LHR 100 argument and see what happens. So if you, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified of future content. 
I uh, really do appreciate you taking the time to watch the video today. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and look forward to seeing you again real soon.